Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about um, something that's super interesting because variables are something we use all the time. Uh, let's see how to add data and restrict data for let's say every you want to only load uh, data for the last two years or last three years or last four years. Uh, and every year you want it to be the previous two years. So um, how do you do that uh, using variables? Let's first create a variable to say how many years of data do you want to load? So do you want to load two years, five years? Let's set that to a variable, right? So it's going to be an expression. So what are we going to say? We're going to say set. Uh, we're going to give it a variable name. So usually, I mean, this is just a naming convention. Number of years to load. Super long variable name. Um, so we're going to set number of years to load and you can type here. So let's say in your work, you want to load, hey, just the last three years of data. OK, um, and now you have this. So now you have an expression here called VL uh, number of years to load. Now, what are we going to do? We want two different things here. One is you want a start date. You want a variable for a start date. And then you want a variable for an end date. And why is that? So that when you go into your fact, what you want to do is restrict. Um, you want to restrict your order dates. So let's say you only want to load the data from how many ever years uh, that you have mentioned here. So now it's three years. So you want the data to be only whichever is greater than the last three years. So what we need is a start date and an end date, right? So now let's say first let's have like a base uh, a base date. Let's call today as a base date so that we can calculate the previous three years. So let's say set. In this case, we're going to, yeah, uh, you can even say set um, VL. base date and since this is going to be an expression i don't want i don't want it to be something that i put right i could set this as today's date which is 2021 10 20 instead i'm going to ask click to hey tell me what today's date is automatically when i reload so click click kind of calculates it automatically um, so since it's that i'm going to change this to let since this is an expression now click is going to calculate today. And what do I basically want from here? Um, yeah, let's leave. So now we have a base date called today. So it, we have a date to work with. Now what we want to do is from this date, uh, we want to load three years worth of data, right? So what are we going to do here? We're going to say we want a start date. That's going to be again, uh, let Let's give it a name is equal to start date. And first we're going to say, hey, um, start date. First of all, what we want is we want we want the year. I'm just going to write an expression so you understand. We want the year of today. We're going to pull that out. And from that year, I want you to minus three years from the number of years to load because in this case i've put three years right um and we want to say that hey uh, what is the date for three years ago depending on what year it is so in this case i'm going to say that we have a function called year start so if i put year start of today then i'm going to get a function um which says what is the year start? So the first date. So in this case, it's going to be January 1st, 2021, which I can later use. Uh, it's going to say year start today. And to be honest, I don't want today. Instead, we already have a function where we are assigning today. So we're just going to use that particular function. Instead of today, I'm going to replace it with that. Um, I'm going to say dollar hash vl dot base date because that's the function and next what do we want um i've got the year start but 
I don't want my start date to be the starting of the same year. Instead, I want it to be three years before, right? So we have something called add years functions. So how many years do you want to add to this the current year? So here I'm going to get the current year date and here I'm going to say add years to it. How many years do you want to add? Um, you want to add three, right? Because here the number of years you want to load is three. So we have three here. But one small thing, we you just hard coded three. Instead of hard coding three here, you already have a variable. So if you change the variable here, it should change here, right? So why not call vl here instead of this three so you're saying hey add years to the year start from today and where is today today you already have a variable called today so you're going to pull that here and then instead of hard coding the number of years to load you're going to call the variable called number of years to load and here you're going to say number of years to load and since this is a variable and it's an expression so we're going to put an hash we're going to put that inside a bracket and put a dollar sign and we're going to close that. Um, one second. So your start, we're missing one bracket here. Yeah. Right. But one, one tiny thing here, we're saying add years, right? Now we have added three years, but we want to actually, uh, we want a start date. That is, we are loading, our start date should be three years before, not plus three years. So we want to turn this, how many years do we want to add? Minus three, not plus three, right? Because this is the start date. If you want the end date to be three years after, then you can say, hey, add three years to it. But in this case, we want to say, remove three years from the year from today. So in that case, what you could do is just put a, you want to convert this three into minus three. So let's just do a star and put a minus one. So now what happens is you have number of years to load is three. So three comes here, three into minus one. So that's minus three. Number of years to load is minus three, minus three of what? Minus three of the base date, that is today and the year start of the base date. So whatever today's date is, it's gonna say, it's gonna take the year and then it's gonna take the first date of that year and say, okay, from the first date of this year, let's minus three years. Um, so if it's 2021, yeah, 2018, and then it's gonna say, yeah, that's nothing but the variable start date. And we can start to use that. So, um, let's just load this once and let's go to sheets so I can show you here. So I'm just going to put in my variables here so that we can, we can have a look at what's happening. So first of all, we put V number of years to load. Let's put that. Now it's three. Next, let's put in our start date or base date. And let's, we have our start date. Great. And yeah, that's about it. So as you can see here, now it's 2018. That's our start date. Now let's add an end date to it. So let's say let VL dot end date is equal to, let's do something different here. Let's say, um, so we're gonna take the base date again because we want it from today. And let's say till the end of this month, Let's put base date. And from here, we can put, we have a function called month end. So it's going to give you the end. Right. 
So now what it's going to give you here is here you have year start. So it's pulling out the first date of the year and end date. Well, you could just use the base date as end date, right? We could just have another variable called, well, end date is nothing but the base date. Instead, uh, I'm just going to say maybe you have um, data that goes on something like predictive or your forecasts or something like that. So you want it for a couple of months. You can either do add months. You can either add years. Um, I'm just saying, okay, month end uh, of today. Yeah, so we're just gonna add month end here and it's gonna pull out the last date of the month. Right, so I just loaded it. Let's go back and let's have a look whether we have a base date or sorry, end date. Have end date created. Yeah, and end date is the end of this month. So today my date is 10-20-2021 and it's 31st. So it's pulling out the last date. So I'm saying, hey, load data till the end of this month and starting from 2018. Um, now we've, we we want to use this function and this function in our fact table. So wherever you're loading data, which has dates and you only want the dates to fall within these two, we're going to just add these two variables there. So for me, it's inside my fact table and I have something called order date here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a where statement. So order date where the order date is always greater than or equal to my start date. right and my order date is also lesser than and equal to my end date right so basically what i'm saying is hey load all the data where the order date is greater than this particular date and this particular date is nothing but my start date and the start date is nothing but what i've mentioned here where i've said hey start date is how many ever years i need to load give me the first date of that from by minusing the number of years from today so it's 2021 it's three here so 2018 and load all those data from 2018 um that matches those dates and the same way with the end date um so now let's say so let's just run this once so it's loaded all the data from 2018 because i'm saying my start date is three years number of years to load is three but what if i want to change that instead of me having to go inside writing hey now or change all the order data more than 2015, 2010, and then maybe I have a bunch of other tables, right? So let's just say you changed your mind and every year you want to load only that many years worth of data. Like you don't want to use every year. You don't want to add another year of data. Instead, you just want to keep the same number of years data. So in that case, I would say, hey, just you just need to make a change once. So now I change this to five and if I load it, now I've put five years and if I go back here, you see my start date has changed to 2016 and it's loaded data from 2016 here. So, and this is now the load. So everywhere else it's, it's changed automatically. So um, I think that this is super helpful, super important um, for you to have a small little, how many years do you want to load and then have an easy way to change it whenever you want. Uh, this is something that I use all the time and uh, I really hope that it helped you. If you have any questions, just write down below. I'm going to have this, yeah, maybe just keep the script um, down below so you can copy it, I guess. Um, I really hope it helped you. Uh, please leave a like. I would really, really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.